you so much. There you are. I have a request for you. It has to do with that plot to assassinate Lady Rhea. The bishop leading the Western Church was somehow involved. And speaking of the Western Church, there was also that incident in which one of the more extreme factions tried to occupy sacred land. Enough is enough. So now the Knights of Saros have been tasked with putting the bishop down. I thought you and your students could come with us. Because you wield the Sword of the Creator. Lady Rhea is going to personally execute the bishop. I have been appointed as her guard. I want your help protecting her. So, what do you say? Will you come? Um, excuse me. I'd like to come along. Ash, you were listening in? It's not up to you whether you can come along. Please, this is important to me. Your adoptive father, Lord Lonato, had connections to the Western Church. I understand that you want answers, but our objective is to punish, not to investigate. We can't let you jeopardize the mission. I won't get in the way. I promise. Hmm. What do you say, Professor? Keep in mind, we would be bringing the whole class, not just Ash. Thank you so much. Okay, I guess it's fine. Get ready then. My, thank you so much. I have gratitude. Thanks so much! I am great. There she is, a sneaky little witch, trying to pass herself off as the goddess's envoy, Archbishop Ray. They're using the fog as cover to ambush us. What a cheap ploy. It won't do any good to get annoyed, Catherine. That voice. We are up against a faction of bishops. They've shown themselves, at least, so we won't have to go to the trouble of finding them. All right, you got a death wish? Come at me! You really want to fight against Thunder, Catherine? Please, our mission isn't just to wipe out all the enemies, but also to protect Lady Rhea. Ready? I'll give it my all. I'll crush them all. Stay focused. Thank you. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Yep. That's what you get. Sure thing.
I thank you. Forget who you're dealing with. Simple logic. Sally four. Hey! Ah! Acknowledge my contribution. Let me at him. I'll give it my all. Doing my part. I will prevail. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Yep. Didn't you hear? I'm dangerous. Stay focused. That is that. Another step forward. This was beneath me. I'll crush them all. Sure thing. Face it, I'm better than you. I'll never be satisfied. It seems that taking out the priest has stopped the reinforcements coming over here. We should be able to stop the reinforcements coming from the other side, but... Our states will suffer the punishment of the goddess! All for Lady 
Rhea. I won't hold back. Lady, hold the line. Don't let them attack Lady Rhea again. Never back down. You shall not be forgiven. Honor. Caution is needed. You sully the name of the goddess! You are the apostates! The goddess is with me! Stay focused. be able to send any more troops now. Let us sweep up the stragglers. Good work, Lady Rhea. Let's round them up and cut them down. I'll crush them all. I will prevail. Yeah! Adorable. Yeah! <laughs> Who's next? Yeah! Goddess, have mercy. Forgive them their sins, and save their souls. It would have been better if we'd captured the bishop, but they didn't make it easy for us. What now, Lady Rhea? We must go to the headquarters of the Western Church. Perhaps there is still someone there who knows what has transpired. Let us help, too. It may not be much, but we'll do whatever we can. I am sure you will be a great help. I am glad to have you by my side.
Thanks, Professor. I really appreciated your help with the investigation. That's it for today. Head back to Garrig Mach. The church will have to choose a new bishop and do whatever else is necessary to rebuild the Western Church. Lady Rhea is grateful to all of you. She said she would send along a reward. You should feel very proud. Receiving a gift directly from Lady Rhea is exceedingly rare. Still, that was a real mess, huh? For them to come out and charge us so boldly. I did too, but we made it out somehow, thanks to you. Hey, where did Ash go? I haven't seen him for a while. Could he still be back there? I'm glad he's so dedicated to his work, but... There you are, Ash. We were just talking about... Why the brooding expression? Hey, what's that bundle of papers in your hand? This was given to me. It has to do with my family. I haven't finished reading it all yet, but I think it might offer some clues about something I need to know. Professor, Catherine, thank you for letting me come with you on this mission. I'd better get ready to go. It's a little painful to watch. I do hope that those papers, whatever they are, will help him get over his past. I suppose it's time for us to start heading back to the monastery.
Excuse me, Professor. May I have a moment of your time? Ah, wonderful. I was hoping you might enlighten me. About yourself, that is. You see, I happen to be quite curious about you. Well, because there is something different about you. You possess an air of mystery I could not help but notice when first we met. I am intrigued, to say the least. I find it rather difficult to put into words. Were I to wax poetic, I would say you remind me of the sea. Have you ever been, Professor? The sea is vast, boundless. On the surface, all seems still. Yet beneath that stillness, it is unfathomably deep. Within, it teems with life. Yet without, one is lucky to glimpse a fleeting shadow. And yet, all one must do is cast a line to grasp hold of all that life. You cannot see it at a glance, but it is there all the same. About fish, of course. Oh, bother. I got sidetracked, didn't I? Right. About the sea. During a storm, the once calm waters become mighty enough to overturn even the vastest ships. Not unlike you. You are calm. You carry yourself with poise. Yet you wield great power. My brother was uncertain of you at first. He once referred to you as a youth of dubious origin. Oh, but please do not think ill of him. He is incredibly dedicated to his work, so surely you understand why he would have doubts about one of whom he knows so little. Nobody even seems to know your age. Incidentally, how old are you? Aha! I suspect that if you choose not to say, you must be quite young. Hmm. Looking at you, it is quite difficult for me to determine. I wonder... Could you be younger than your own students? Who? Me? Well, I am roughly the same age as the other youths here. Be that as it may, it is simply not the case. Oh, by the way, you should know I had actually been considering enrolling in the academy for a while. I have endured hard times, but I am so grateful that those very experiences led to my acceptance at the academy. Oh, my apologies. I am sure you have much work to do. I will not keep you any longer. We must speak again sometime, if that would be all right. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Thanks for the invite. Just as a heads up, I don't know the first thing about tea. Thanks. Tastes pretty strong. Yep. Nice. What? <laughs> what? I haven't seen my parents for more than a decade. I can't remember what they look like. <laughs> really? 
I know. I'm buff as heck. What of it? Nice. What? Really? What? Do I have bedhead? I could go for a snack. That was way more fun than I expected. Let's talk to you again soon. Next time, more snacks. I do not believe I am required to team up with you. I would rather work with almost anyone else. But I will do what needs to be done. Hmm. Of course, we will both do what we have to. But do not drag me down to your level. Look at this beautiful achievement. Hubert was no help at all, though. Your inability to face reality is just another reason you are inferior to Lady Edelgard. The battlefield has much to teach. I'm getting much better. I'm a quick study. Mastery is with... You've done me a great service. La 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 la, sing out over peaks, ring out over valleys. Let my lovely voice echo through the streets and alleys. I hope this song reaches the goddesses.
Professor. Hello there. Be like, wow. I have a lovely idea. How about I invite another friend next time, so that the four of us can enjoy each other's company? Uh, of course! That sounds delightful, and not the least bit likely to cause anxiety. Mercedes, how serendipitous it is to see you again. Yes, and here we are. You were so small when I saw you last. How you've grown. I cannot express how worried I was to hear that you had left House Bartels. I was turned away any time I asked about you. And of course, Emil would never tell me anything. I'm sorry. There was so much going on in House Bartels back then. But enough about all that. How are you, Constance? I hear you've had hardships of your own. Indeed. House Nouvelle is no more, and I went alone to the School of Sorcery. Oh! You went to the Royal School of Sorcery? Just before I began at the Officers' Academy, I was studying there as well. You were? It must have been after my graduation in 1177. That was the year I enrolled. They probably just missed each other. No! You mean to say that if I had stayed a trifle longer, we could have been reunited sooner? It seems so. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear Constance. When we were little, I thought of you as my little sister. But now that you've grown up, I think our roles might be reversed. I'll be looking up to you now, and maybe even asking for your help sometimes. You'd ask for my help? <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. And yet you're seeing it. You know, I had another friend at the school. Her name is Annie. Why don't we all have some tea together? I'm sure you two would really hit it. You must meet Annette. Yes, I would welcome the chance to have a long chat with her. I'll prepare the tea straight away. Oh, no need to rush. The tea isn't going anywhere. Don't be ridiculous. Time is always of the essence. Why put off for later when I... I... could... Constance? I wonder what's the matter? Did something happen? Mercedes, sharing your precious time with me is perhaps more than I deserve. What do you mean? Why sit with me when you could share your tea time with someone else? I shall instead stand and serve the tea. Though if my presence still proves to be a burden... Goodness, of course it isn't! Are you feeling alright? My feelings are immaterial. Pardon me while I fetch the tea leaves at once. Until a moment ago, everything seemed all right. Why did she change so suddenly? I'll have to ask her what's going on. I appreciate any. I've eaten many meals in my time.
being delicious. Oh, I love. I like Excuse me, Professor. I know. I forgive me. Just know that.
I couldn't bear to inconvenience you, Mercedes. The mere thought of it leaves me weak kneed Are you feeling all right, Constance? If not, perhaps you'd better rest a bit. Nonsense. Consider me a beast of burden, existing only to toil at your command. <laughs> We've worked hard and finished our task quickly. It feels wonderful. <laughs> the task posed no challenge at all between the two of us. It's starting to take. I'm getting it. I can do better now. There's so much left to learn. Am I making progress? I guess I learned a thing or two.